This is Raquel with Paints and Glitter, and if you could bear with me, I'm going to do my housekeeping, as I always say. Try to find my video and make sure that my camera's pointed in the right direction, etc., etc. This is a tutorial series using Tonic Studios dies. Ooh, a good shot right from the beginning. Awesome. Okay. I have come along to share with you this adorable mini album that I have been assembling little by little. And what I've been doing is using digital uh, papers from Shabby Art Boutique. The link is provided for you below. Let me give you a sneak peek of what this looks like already. Many of you have already um, come by to say hello and to see the progress of this mini album where I am sharing the techniques that I'm using. Hello, Rocky, welcome back. And I'm just doing my little recap there. Of course, you know, some of these ribbons are untied from yesterday. I had to walk away and get my, um, my rest for my back. So it stayed on the table just as is. <laughs> I didn't get to do much more on this page. Uh, but as I promised, I wanted to come back and do the final page and as much as I can of everything else today. So what I was doing here is that I was printing out more of the images. I had said to you guys that it was just the tip of the iceberg that I had um, reached in terms of printing the um, the digital images available from this collection. I mean, there's so much. There's uh, She's got it categorized, so you can focus on if you wanna do all flowers, if you wanna do birds, if you wanna do leaves. I mean, she's so very well organized in terms of that, and I'm so very grateful that Carrie Ann has chosen to make her collection available that way. What I did was that I selected a few images with very um, intentionally uh, placed on the papers that I'm using here um, in such a way that it'll help me um, focus on what it is that I wanted to do. Now, having said that, my printer, which is a very um, so-called <laughs> high-end printer, I mean, that's how it's sold anyway, it's an Epson wide format printer, is not very nice to me. It likes to leave streaks like this, okay? And it also likes to do this whole bit here. <laughs> I don't know why. I tell it what I'm using and all that good stuff, but... I hope you're doing well, Roxanne, and I thank you so much for having joined me. I am going to go along here and try to, if uh, you can bear with me, try to cut out some of these images because I have every intention of using them on my very last page. So I am going to cut these as fast as I possibly can without ruining them, of course, you know, because I want to make a pretty page. But I wanted to incorporate these elements on the very last page just because I thought this is a baby mini album. But as we all know, just because it's a baby mini album, it doesn't mean that all of the pictures will be necessarily of my little niece, who this will be for. Um, so if there are any pictures that maybe are incorporated into this book that might um, teeter on the more masculine side, um, because say if daddy's in the picture and he's wearing a darker shirt or anything like that, I try to think of these things as well, um, then at least there will be one page in this album. And I'm sorry that it's the last one, but just worked out that way. Um, where there are some more neutral colors or I would call them maybe even gender neutral colors if you want to look at it that way. Um, so that's something that I try to do uh, unless the album is going to be for a specific theme. Um, then I try to think of those things also. Um, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. That. That's very kind of you. And you know what? I wish I had been, you know, uh, better prepared for this. But the fact is that it takes time to get all of these things prepared. It takes time to, you know, go through the files to print everything out. And as I mentioned in a previous video, I don't like to 
plan my pages to the T in advance, it, it kills my creativity. Um, and that's just a personality thing. Some people work better um, with a menu. And I realize that that's why a lot of people will watch a tutorial series such as this one. If you're watching it, chances are you may be the type of person that is more inspired by having someone else lay out the plan for you, if you will, or the foundation. I'm not that person. <laughs> I'm on the other spectrum of that, whereas you give me a plan or a recipe, I, I'm the first to volunteer to wreck it. <laughs> And not in a bad way. What I mean is that I'm not good at following the rules when it comes to creativity. Why? Because I'm a rule follower in, um, in other aspects of my life, but not when it comes to art. I think, you know, it's good to know the rules and the, you know, and the foundation of how to create. And then once you know them, then you go from there and you let inspiration strike you. And I, I just find it to be more joyful for me to just let inspiration strike me in the moment. Um, and I, you know, I hope that that's okay um, because I did my best in this book to go ahead and have everything ready ahead of time. Um, but today I was like, no, you know what? I have to stick to my guns of, of how I like to create. Um, because at least one page in this book has to be the way that I normally craft. Uh, okay, so I've got that gorgeous little birdhouse. And of course I like this one because it had the uh, that wood green and the blue, right? Um... And then there's this little garden pick here. So I'm going to try to get this one out. And of course, this, you know, you can feed these through your digital machines. Um, and have the machine cut it all out. I didn't even get that far because, you know, then my day's gone. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Rocky. I truly appreciate it. And it, and it's true, you know, we are, we are not a, um, you know, crafters are not all the same way, you know what I'm saying? Like, we don't all enjoy the same exact process, so, um, I say to each his own, you know? Because <clears throat> this is, <laughs> this is, you know, it's kind of interesting, too, how, um, <clears throat> Um, some crafters, for instance, want to, um, oops, excuse me, one second. Uh, oh, getting an alert, but I don't see anyone out there. Okay, anyway, um, my phone tells me when there's someone here, but I don't see anyone out there. Um, uh, where was I? So yeah, some crafters like to get the feedback of, hey, you know, um, what should I do next and stuff like that. And I've done that in my videos as well. Um, because I do want to know why are people even watching my channel? You know, what, what are you getting out of this content? Uh, because everyone has their own little niche and I'm, you know, more all over the place because I like a variety of different types of crafts. I don't have one that I stick with, um whether it be very very ultra feminine or masculine or shabby or rustic whatever it is if i'm crafting i'm going to enjoy it um so you may notice that in my in some of my videos because i don't show everything on youtube that i make either i mean um some people do that i don't i don't have that type of um I don't have that kind of time available to me. I'm sorry. Um, I was trying to focus on don't 
don't ruin the bird. <laughs> don't ruin the bird. But I'm right now, here's what I'm doing. I'm looking at the scale of these images. And this might help you also. Hello, darling. Yes, I am, Wandy. <laughs> don't you wish I could make like 15 of these all at the same time? I know I do. Because, I, girl, I, I would list them on Etsy uh, in a hot minute. <laughs> but it's bad enough that I'm... Um, I'm over here, you know, rebuking my printer, praying and saying, okay, Lord, help me out today <laughs> because I don't want to make this a fight. My, uh, my printer likes to do funky things to my paper, um, except for the cheap paper. You know, if I put something cheap in that printer, it prints out like, woo, no problem. But the minute I put, uh, you know, my, my thicker paper in there and I, I'll tell it, hey, you know, it's thick paper, it's it's photo paper, it's whatever, you know. I pick all of the selections. And some days it works fantabulous, and other days it just spits out these crazy, um, nonsensical papers that don't even match the picture on the computer. <laughs> uh, hi, Lady Crafty! Yes, it is Raquel. Please remind me of your name if uh, if I forgot. I don't know if you are Jacqueline or if I'm confusing you with someone else. I'm rambling as I caught paper <laughs> because I just did this. This is hot off the press. The ink isn't even dry on this paper yet. Um, I had to do it very quickly because time was getting away from me. And I was like, you know what? It's... it's um, it's do or die today. Today's Friday. Some people are going to show up. Some people will not, which is understandable. Everybody has a life. Um, and if I was going to do this video, I had to just click that button and start. But I didn't have all of my elements because I has, as I was explaining to Roxanne, if I plan too much, it kills. It takes the joy out of crafting for me. I'm more of an impromptu crafter. I like to make it up as I go along. That's what gives me happiness in my heart. <laughs> so, um, I had to at least make one page layout uh, based on that uh, philosophy, if you will. And this is the very last page in this book, so that's, that's where this is going today. I love birds, and this collection has the cutest little watercolor birds. Um, I... Um, I wanted to incorporate that because there's a very uh, spiritual significance for me as a Christian uh, um, when it comes to what birds represent in my life anyway. Um, so I wanted to make sure that this was part of this book as well as the color scheme being a bit more on the brown and blue side to allow for masculine um, pictures of you know, if daddy's going to be in the book <laughs> with the baby, <laughs> daddy being my brother, okay, um, then maybe those pictures could go at the end. Um, oh, yes, I'm with you on that, Wandy. I mean, I ordered, a, in fact, I had ordered one die set because I'm trying to limit myself. I have everything I need, but I had ordered one die set purposely for um, matting layers for this book. It's going to be here Monday, so guess what? That plan went out the window. <laughs> um, but here's one that I printed. Here, this little image. It is that little flower box, and it's got all those little wildflowers with the butterflies and everything. I think it's so sweet. Um, so I'm going to try to incorporate that on that page because I did print it, as I mentioned before, on pearlescent paper. Now... It went nowhere. My printer did not do it justice. This is just completely washed out. But I'm not going to throw that away. I, I it's Obviously, it's stuck in the book, so there it stays. But I'm going to try to make the most of that. But you can see the difference in pigmentation of, you know, what it should be and what it is, you know, according to that particular day with my printer. And then I also printed these images out. Um, which, by the way, are part of this collection. Um, so, let's see what Raquel can make out of this. After all this rambling and fussy cutting. But you saw, I mean, 
relatively quickly I was able to cut out those images um, and keyword relative <laughs> let's look for a die here I'm gonna try to find a cute shape that I can incorporate um, and there are several here and I'm trying to remember what I've done already but um, I'm trying to keep it simple I have this one and let's see here I'm gonna try to see if this is see now I have to be careful with the sizing too right because I don't want to make them too big um, so let me see I'm sorry I'm trying to read the uh, da, 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 da. the book she's working on Jackie okay yes you are all right wonderful Jackie yeah I, I'm so sorry I keep changing your name so yeah this is just a mini album that I'm working on um, trying to make uh, trying to make the most of the papers that I printed out trying to make it look cohesive of course and all that good stuff and um, Sorry, I'm looking for the papers that I want to use. So I have this one here. This is also part of the collection. It's a cute little pink. Oh yes, we have our little jokes. That's a very Latin thing. Um, it's a it's a compliment in the you know in the Latino uh, culture, and I don't know. Actually, I think it's it's kind of a whole Spanish influence thing um, when we say uh say we run into each other in person or whatever and you're wearing an outfit that i think is to die for then i let you know hey you know that shirt's mine right <laughs> or i'm uh you're giving me the my shoes back you know that's that's a very uh hispanic thing i guess you know to and it's meant to be a compliment so that's why i was saying thank you so much um because we uh it's kind of like claiming what we like <laughs> Um, so it's, um, you know, it can be so confusing though, if you don't know that, <laughs> so I, can, I get where Jackie's going with that. Um, and let me tell you, having grown up, okay, so uh, you know how I like to tell my stories, right? I grew up in the military and that caused, um, me to be in an environment where there were, uh, I'm trying to find my other die set real quick, guys. Um, there were tons of different cultural, you know, you know, just variety. And um, in, um, that's not it. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. She cannot chew gum and walk at the same time, people. All right, give me one second. Um... Anyway, I, I grew up in a mu very multicultural environment, and I love that, love, love, love that about my upbringing. Um, but it caused confusion when I then moved back to Puerto Rico after having lived outside of Puerto Rico for some time. And ran into all of these little colloquialisms um, because uh, just because they existed didn't mean that they were being used in my home <laughs> on a regular basis. So... I was one confused child, let me tell you. <laughs> I was like, what are they saying? I'm missing a die. What else is new? Okay, so I'm looking here to see, and no, that's not gonna work because it's a completely different shape. So, hmm, just to point out something that might be obvious to you guys, there's um, a couple of different book collections or die collections that I'm looking at here right now, okay? Because I was trying to incorporate what I have in my stash. This one's a uh, life's journey, and this is super stinking cute for baby books and that sort of thing. Now the shapes of the pages in here have a scallop border. However, it's rounded on the on the border there. That's what you see here, okay? And I thought maybe I can combine it with this. Hello, where's the packaging? This one here. Uh, which is also one that has scalloped borders. It's called scalloped embrace, in fact. However, this one has 
uh, squared edge, even though it's rounded up here. So I, it totally confused my brain for a moment there. I can't use them together. So, um, oh, wonderful. Yes. Military brats unite. <laughs> so yeah, you end up picking up, um, you know, kind of, um, you, you end up picking up cultural traits from the people that you meet. And that's very natural, you know, whatever you're surrounded by. So that explains the fact that I don't have um, the... Um, uh, how would I say this? I don't have all of the... Uh, the the habits or, uh, I don't know, cultural habits that maybe the entire rest of my family would have, the ones that, that have not lived um, like I did, you know, um, but that's okay too, you know, because every household's a little bit different. I'm going to run this again, guys, some babbling over here and my, sometimes I forget I have to run these twice, but. Oh, yes, I am back, Chiquita. Thank you for being here, and thank you, thank you. You were the only person who shared my video yesterday. Um, so I truly appreciate that, because I had mentioned that means a whole lot to me. Okay, so here's what I was going for, and you, do you see how stinking cute that looks just by having that little edge on there? I, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm losing my voice. I didn't have to do a whole lot. It, it was just a matter of printing that image and then cutting it with a cute die. Um, so now this is going to make me look like I tried hard, you know, and all I have to do is add it back here. Um, so with this, I can add, if I want to, um, a bit of a tuck in here. I'm just winging it, like I said before, okay guys? So let's see, let's see if that can be done and how I could manage to do that with the dies that I have here. Um, so if this video is a little bit longer, um, I'll try to make it work. Okay, so I have some dies here that, da, 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 da. what I try to look for is anything with kind of like a little curve, um, just looking for shapes, not necessarily... Aha, I think I found it. Let me see. I'm going to see if this will work. Okay, this one here only cuts on three sides of this. All right, so this is where I'm going with it. It'll only cut on the three sides. This border down here is not going to cut at all. So guess what? I'm going to take advantage of that and create a little tuck spot. And it's going to cut away a tiny bit of that handle, but I'm not concerned with that at all. Um, oh, thank you for that, Chiquita. I'm sorry that my, for some reason, my chat sometimes excludes uh, comments. Where is it? I move things around. Bear with me, guys. I'm telling you, when I say I need an assistant, I am not joking. Because I keep saying double up your stuff, right? And guess who was forgetting already? All right, so let me just cut this again. I am going, going to use 65 pound uh, weight paper because it's only a little flap here. It's not the foundation of the book, so it's gonna be fine. Um, Lord help me, my dies are... <laughs> My dies are flying off the magnets. Here we go. Okay. Mamma mia. All right. So I do want to double this up and I will show you why. So I don't know if any of you guys have caught the, um, the birthday bash videos from Tonic Studios this week. But if you haven't, you may... Ooh. Oopsie. Oh, well. <laughs> I didn't realize this was already printed on. Ah! 
I didn't want to destroy that. Um, let's use this one. It's a good week to hop on and take advantage of the coupons, uh, the TC. TCK coupon to get your discount on anything if you already have a subscription or if not of just the sales that are going on um, Yes <laughs> Chiquita this <laughs> this room. It's a good thing. I don't have to share it with anyone um, Because it's it's just crazy um, Rocky Rocky is a lady <laughs> She said I'm on a regular day. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's too funny. All right. So I wanted to cut this out twice because I want to double this up before I start cutting. Um, that way, when I have my little flap here, it doesn't fall apart on me. Okay. So let me glue that first. And you know, sometimes you have to improvise. So here's, um, you can see I had other attempts at printing <laughs> these papers. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna do this. Ya -da -da. Okay, so I'm lining this up. Sorry, I was just taking a peek at the chat there. I'm lining this up. You guys having Chinese for lunch? My husband loves Chinese food. I don't like it. Don't tell him I said that, though. <laughs> That's one cuisine I just... Oh my God. But I do like... Um, I had a girlfriend uh, from China that I studied with. Um, we were at the same college and um, she said to me, she was so adorable. She said to me, do you want to know why we Chinese are so skinny? I was like, yes, <laughs> tell me. <laughs> she, said, she said, because we boil everything to the point where there's no nutritional value left. <laughs> oh, she was so adorable, I miss her. Um, but she did let me know that Chinese food and Chinese restaurants in the U.S. Are, is not actual Chinese food. It's just kind of like Taco Bell is to Mexican. Um, all right, let me set that aside. Okay, so you guys see where this is going. I doubled it up to the best of my ability as I'm laughing here. Uh, so it's a, a little bit off, but... Um, hi, Eileen. Hello, darling. I got so teary-eyed watching your video as you were unpacking that uh, craft room of yours. Let me just tell you, oh my gosh, that sent so many uh, emotions through me. Uh, and I was just discussing that uh, about being an army brat and, you know, growing up kind of different, quote unquote, because you're surrounded by so many people that, you know, have their own culture and they have their, their own ways of life, but you're inevitably influenced by that because you're also there um and um you know and how that i don't know i kind of it kind of creates a sense of community that's a bit broader i think um and i could be wrong about that but i watched your video and i was like <gasps> those were the days <laughs> So you're now in Pennsylvania, which is not too far from here. Um, okay, so I am scoring that line where my cut ended, okay? And I'll show you this up close in just a second. I'm just taking advantage of that because now I have that little flap there, okay? And it's backed up with the paper, see that? And to this, I can add a little tab if I want to. I can go ahead and just, you know, do that. So go ahead, let's go ahead and do that. Add my little tab. So that way there's a reason to, you know, lift it, right? Oh, I am in upstate New York. I'm in the, um, in Apple country over here. Um, 
It's called, um, I always have to remind myself. It's called Wayne County. And I say, when you drive in this direction, you hear the ding, 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 ding. <laughs> and I say that to bother my husband, by the way, because he's, he's country. You know, we're that, we're that odd couple of, you know, he's a little bit country. He's a lot of bit country and I'm a, and I'm a little bit rock and roll kind of thing, you know, more city, uh, city minded, if you will. Even though I've, I've never really lived in a city, but let me tell you, country, the, the word country can mean a lot of different things. <laughs> so I'm also going to, to um, actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to make a hinge because I think it's going to be easier. So, and I will share why. So here's um, kind of an easy hack, I guess. I'm just going to cut away about an inch worth of paper here, right, to make my little hinge. Let me move this aside for a second. Um, all right, so this cut only leaves me about a quarter inch on this side, and I do want this to be able to open. Actually, I don't have to have it open. Should I? Uh... I have two different things I can do here. I can stick another piece of paper behind here to create the pocket. Ah, uh, choices, choices. Hmm. Or I can just make it so that it also opens up. Yeah, I think I want to do that. All right. Sorry, guys. Just thinking out loud there. So I am going to score this here after I place the, the glue or the adhesive. Oh my gosh, my sons were there with their dad. So Eileen, you were in close proximity to my children <laughs> when you were there. Uh, how crazy would it be if you're like in the background of a picture? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask them for pictures because that would be amazing. Oh, thank you, sweetie. The album, this, yes, this is a one die set from Tonic Studios, okay? Um, and at the end, I can go back and show you guys all of the ones that I've used. But here, place your score tape, right? Ballpark the same length of that page. Then do your score line. Okay? Then do your next piece of tape. All right? I was just thinking about this the other day. I'm like, wouldn't it just be easier if I do all of my score lines first and da 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 da, right? Now you just have to cut away the excess. Because you don't need all of that paper to create a hinge. But yeah, Eileen, my um Yes, I can understand that. The, um, my, my oldest son is a musician. He graduated, um, he studied, um, orchestra performance, um, and he plays the trombone. So he also plays the guitar, the piano, the marimba, <laughs> the, um, what else? The bass. I don't know if I already mentioned that, but in any case, he's a he's a music man. Um, do I sell my albums? I have in the past, and in fact, I have some on my shelf there that I think should go to a new home. I'm not quite sure how to go about selling them online, to be honest, because I used to sell them in retail. Um, so that's why I was trying to crank out a bunch of little mini albums at one point. It was because I had a place where I was selling them locally. Um, and right now I can't make as many as I would normally like to because of my back issues. So I have to pace myself. Um, so I, I can't, for instance, take like a custom order because that's, mm -mm, I'm not there yet. I, you know, if the Lord heals me and I can get back to where I used to be, then maybe. Um, but the finished ones, 
yeah, I'm happy to sell those because let's face it, there's a couple here, for instance, that I don't, you know, as much as I think I might use them, I don't think, you know, it's going to happen because I have boys. Sell them on YouTube. Yeah, you know what? Oh, thank you, sweetie. Yeah, custom orders. My experience with that has been that people ask for the moon, but they want to pay for a paper plate. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I don't want to enter into that. <laughs> okay, so I added my little hinge. You guys could see how I did that. Now, it's not going to go open all the way. Why? Because of that little scalloped edge. But that's okay with me. All right? Um, I could reinforce this even further. In fact, um, it would be a smart idea for me to do that before I finish everything, okay? Um, another thing that I can do is just make this a local pocket, if you will, um, by adding some vellum back here. So let me go ahead and do that. Let me grab my vellum. Oh, wow, that's super cool. See, you have some band ladies in the house. That is awesome. All right, so I'm going to use that same die. I'm just going to double this up again um, because there's different um, grades of vellum, if you will, and this is not the heaviest. Uh, in fact, let me see here. Let's see where this goes. I'm gonna leave it off the edge. Let's see what happens here. I'm improvising. Um, yeah, my son was a bass trombone, he is, I should say, a bass trombonist. So it's that very loud sound in an orchestra that sounds like thunder sometimes, so. I love it. Okay, so there's my little page there and it opens like this now because of the fact that I let it hang over that one edge. So let's see where we can go with this. All right, because I can adhere this now. Oh yes, loving it, right? I can glue part of this, and I'm going to use my thinner score tape here. See, now, I never would have thought of this had I tried to plan it out ahead of time. Okay, I'm going to put this here. And this is the, uh, help me out, ladies, uber thin, what is it called? Um, not quarter inch, but I think it's eighth of an inch width. Um score tape now this is going to open like this so i need my little pocket there so i can go ahead and just place the adhesive right at the bottom let me i need to twirl twirl it around because i otherwise i can't see i'm blind um just a little there and then this edge over here Okay, like that. Yes, practice time in my household meant that I like I would get home from work and there was a drum set in my living room with my little chiquito, as I call him, my, my pezzettino crying, Mama, he's been practicing so loud. And then my, my teenage son just, you know, with all that teenage angst, banging on those things, <laughs> like... It was going to be the end of days <laughs> um, because there was, of course, drums, uh, you know, sax or not saxophone, uh, trombone, drums, and the rest of the whole rest of it. Just craziness. Um, but let me tell you guys, I prefer that any day of the week to video games or, you know, 
just you know learning learning something that that just really isn't gonna do a whole heck of a lot later on and i'm no knock on video game programmers or people who make apps or nothing like that because i know people that do that as well <laughs> but that's just my personal preference um all right so now i'm gonna lay this down you guys will see in just a second ah wait no 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 redo I want to make sure it lines up perfectly, so I have to move it up a little bit. And this tape, mm -mm, nope, that one didn't work. You guys rock. Thank you so much. I appreciate it when you like the things that I, you know, that I make because it makes it worthwhile for me to share them. Because let's face it. If it just made you yawn, then I'd be like, well, so much for those videos. All right, let's give this another try. And like I said, in the live videos, you get to see the nitty gritty mistakes that I make. And let me tell you, not a single one of my mini albums is ever perfect. I don't think that exists. So if you're new and you're trying this for the first time and you have to rip out a page, let me tell you, sister, I've been there, done that, worn the t-shirt. I, I, yeah. I do it all the time, so don't let, don't ever let anyone convince you of their perfection, <laughs> because that is a myth. All right, I'm closing the page, moving on from that, and now I have my little tuck spot here, and it's just the little pocket, you know, where things are going to just slide right in there, nothing crazy, right? And then it'll open up. It's nice and soft on this side now because it's got the vellum and then another little flap here. It just makes it look sweet, right? Um, yes, uh, to uh, answer your question, I am the daughter of an infinitely creative woman who I admire with every every fiber of my being. My, my mother is uh, by all, you know means a genius <laughs> she's an incredibly talented and um very very intelligent woman and she always was tinkering at home with one thing or another uh because she always had that personality type of oh i can learn to do that or i can do that you know so um she never shied away from doing that sort of thing and um it taught me that kind of fearlessness when it came to um, trying new things. I kind of like that. Even though there's that white space. But I have to remember that this isn't fine art. And I don't have to take it so seriously. <laughs> so I think I'm going to put them there. Right? Kind of mommy baby situation going on there. Um, so yeah. My mom is, is amazing. I love her so much. Um... Because she could make something out of nothing. I mean, this was a woman who would come home, and I've shared this in the past, with like a really, you know, small bolt of fabric. And in, in two minutes, she'd have like a, a, a baptismal gown made by hand, you know, that sort of thing. Um, so that was, you know, that was how she poured her love into me, was by sharing those things. I think I'm going to, okay, so I'm going to put that there. I'm doing this upside down, but it, it looks balanced to me, so I'm just going to go with it. Putting the little house there. And, of course, I had mentioned how this page would be a little more masculine than the rest, but you know what? I don't think it necessarily is. I'm going to gauge this here by that little line up there. I think that looks okay. So there's the, my little scene that I've been building. Now I had already um, cut these, fussy cut these little, uh, what are these called? Kind of like little fence pieces. I could definitely add these down here um, by just cutting off that little lip and creating yet another little tuck spot. But because this has the hinge now, I don't think I'm gonna bother. I may just add them to some tags. So here's one that because I had already cut this paper out, I'd be foolish not to use it. So I can use that and then see what I mean? Just put my little fence down there. 
So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm only going to add glue to the very bottom, a little strip of adhesive here. And um, this will dry rather quickly. So I'm going to put this down here. Yes. Yep. Lots of creativity. My mom would make herself a dress and uh, yeah, no problem. And what else? Oh, she did ceramics. That's where I learned to make flowers was that I transferred what I learned from um, doing ceramics with my mom, um, which if I think back, that's the first thing I ever painted was ceramics. Um, and my mom would get the clay and she would hand form uh, all the petals to, to make a whole flower basket, things like that. Um, and uh, that's, you know, that transfers over to paper very easily. So let's go ahead and put a little bird here because I, you know, if I cut them out, I may as well use them, right? See, that's oh, I'm so sorry for your loss, sweetie. Um, write those things down though and treasure them for sure. You could do an entire mini album of just things that come to mind when you think about your mom, you know, even if you just see it like in a magazine or something like that. That would be amazing. This needs a little frill, so let's make a bow. Um, in fact, this would be super stinking cute, right? Down here. To do the little rickrack. I think I like that. Um, and I need to add another little tab up here just to show that you can open that. Um, I cut several of these out. So I know there's got to be one around here somewhere. Here we go. So here's another one of these and all I did was just because I was using pink in this book I cut these all out in the same color but of course you don't have to do that and this is just another little tonic uh, studios um, die set there that does the little tabs I could go crazy with them and add another one to the page and you know one to the tag let me take a look though to see how I like that because if it's too busy I'm not yeah, no, I don't think I like that. I think I might just add one to the page. I should have done it behind the the birdhouse, but hindsight is twenty twenty. Maybe there is not the place to put it. Maybe I need to put it back here. Right here. There we go. I think I like that better. Symmetry is important to me, but... Okay, so I'm going to put this here. I'm trying to aim at the, the other one that I placed down here so that it has some continuity there. Oh, thank you so much, Rocky. <laughs> thank you. Uh-oh, hubby needed rescuing, Eileen. I have to say, mine mine has rescued me this year from complete madness because of the uh, the pain that I've been going through. I have to give a shout out to my husband for helping me so much um, because woo -hoo, you guys get to see me here happy and having a good old time. But then I'll end this video and end up having to do, um, you know, like lay on the floor and try to get my back in order and all that good stuff and he never complains never says a thing just comes home and does whatever needs to be done it's so super you know and let me tell you i know from experience not everybody's like that <laughs> um oh that's wonderful jackie That goes, yeah, I can relate to that on the, on, um, somewhat because I didn't know I could paint. Can you guys see this okay? Or do you all just see a big old mess? I'm trying to make sure that it's, uh, 
not overwhelming here. Let me zoom in. Um, and where am I? This way, this way. Oh, wow, Chiquita, I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah, we have trials in this life, you know? Life isn't always about perfection and everybody, you know, happy-go-lucky, kumbaya, right? But that's where, you know, um, I can attest that my faith in God has really, really helped because it's... Um, it's one thing to say that you believe in the Lord, and it's a whole other thing to have to rely on Him for every breath you take. <laughs> um, and I can say He's faithful, so. There's a song, and I know it's not a Christian song, but there's a song that, I, you know, that I'm still standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so as for me, you know what, I, as long as I am awake and I can, you know, stand up and sit down and, um, you know, there's, it's kind of interesting when things like that happen, you, you have to reevaluate what okay means. So last year being okay meant something entirely different to me than it does today. You know, it is, you, you get transformed through trials. Um, so I've learned the meaning of perseverance. So that's what I'm doing. I am persevering. Um, now you guys saw how quickly that just came together. And again, that's a relative term, <laughs> but now I have my little pocket and I can add a whole other tag here, you know, whatever I want, but then now I can also, um, and since I'm talking about it, let's just do it. Just do it. I want to add the little butterflies that I know that I'm going to want to see on this page. So I have this one that I had printed out. So cute. So let's put that one there. Oh, wait, I said I was going to do a ribbon and I got talking and I forgot. Duh. Okay. Sorry, guys. Let's do that. <laughs> oh, gosh. Exactly, Chiquita. So you can relate. Being okay for you means you can walk. I'm I'm right there with you. Being okay for me means I can put a sentence together and not scream <laughs> from pain. Uh, and, you know, just exercising self-control, denying myself the things that I used to so, uh, you know, frivolously allow myself to do. Uh, because I changed the way that I eat to be healthier. Um and um and let me tell you i recently caved in right because this is how it goes right you think oh yeah i'm stronger or whatever and i caved in and i had um kettle corn ha 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 totally regretted that move <laughs> so not worth it i'm gonna poke a little hole there um What's the meaning of perseverance? I would say holding fast to that which you know is true in spite of yourself. Um, that's one thing I can say. I think this warrants a little... I'm looking for a pink eyelet, guys. Yes, I do have one. Oh, it's okay. You had kettle corn. That's my weakness. It's my Achilles heel. Oh, can't handle it. But guys, I can't have it. I was telling my son, I lived the first 40 years of my life eating whatever the heck I wanted to. And I was that girl that could eat and not gain weight and da da da. And, you know, for a while anyway, till I had kids. Um, and then all of a sudden, you know, Hormone, hormone, uh, oopsie, that came out. Uh, I guess that's not big enough. Oh, well, scratch that. This is, um, hormone, hormone central hit, right? Anybody over 40 knows that. 
<laughs> um, yep. Yeah, I gave up carbs and um, for good reason. So, guys, I have no idea how to use this. Can you tell? <laughs> This is my most unused item in my craft room. And every time that I get it out, I'm like, yep, this is why. I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay, let's try it again. Squeeze. I did it. Okay, there it is. All of that just to put this ridiculous ribbon in here, but. Yep. I was like, yeah, these days. How about instead of a bag of popcorn, a bag of celery. Ooh, that's appealing. <laughs> Not. <laughs> yeah, see, I can still have my coffee, but no carbs for the rest of my life. That's done and over with. I'm like, those were the days. Those were the days. All right, I'm looking for hot glue here. I wanted to put that on there. You know, it doesn't look as cute as I thought it was going to look. And why is that? I think it needs more blue. Yeah, let's add this one as well. Okay, so I'm going to thread this one through because it's got blue and pink on that butterfly. And yes, I am that particular where I want to add the blue in the ribbon. Let me use my pokey tool. And just shove that little thing in there. Um, here we go. Yeah, years ago, I remember um, going to a Weight Watchers meeting back when my doctor suggested that that's what I needed to do. <laughs> oh, and, uh, you know... I'm so competitive by nature that they said, oh, you know, you eat like this and you get these points and then you get a notebook and you write it down and, you know, and so long as you only eat these many points, then you're going to lose weight. And, you know, it started working and I was like, oh, this is easy. <laughs> it's just points. Cool. You know, um, but then it was, um, you know, at the end of the week, what I didn't know going in is at the end of the week, they were going to give you like a little charm or a star or whatever it was. And I was just like, yes, <laughs> I get a sticker for my book. I'm totally doing this. <laughs> and guys, I managed to lose a lot of weight uh, that I had put on with, you know, pregnancies and just you know, not knowing how to eat correctly, of course, because... Uh, your body just changes. Um, but I was thrilled. I was like, yes, I don't need those extra points. <laughs> so I would go to the meetings and be like, listen, I figured it all out. <laughs> yeah, totally. I was eating for stickers. And I said, you know what? The best, the best way you can get around it, just eat the box. <laughs> hey guys, I'm a, I'm a total fool. I'm just, you know, I like to laugh. Because some of the ladies, you know, inevitably you get into those conversations. How do you do it? How do you do it? You know, how come you lost four pounds this week and I, I gained three? I'm like, just eat the box, girlfriend. <laughs> eat the box. <laughs> I know. See, isn't that just it? I was just thinking about that. I'm like, you know how much money you can save to spend on craft items if you don't eat carbs? <laughs> That's how I'm looking at it right now. I'm like, I think I can do that. <laughs> All right. So there's another little flippity flap, you know, you guys get the idea. Um, I can add another one here, uh, but I think you get the gist of it. And you know, I'm going to finish this off camera for the question that I had. And I think it was Jackie who asked me. Um, da -da 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 -da. Okay, so die set number one that I use. This is the Keepsake Bookmaker Base Creator. It is currently on sale. Get your hands on it. <laughs> I'm an affiliate. Can you tell? Um, but actually, it's at a great price right now. So this is what I use to create. 
all of the pages that are this shape, okay? And all of those little inserts, you know, or inside pages like this one, okay? I just folded the paper in half. You can watch the first video to see how I did that. Um, that, I, sweetheart, if I could remember prices, I would be on a whole other level of sales. <laughs> I, I don't commit them to memory, and I'm so sorry because it's, you know, my brain isn't that big. Um, this set here is, um, and that's because, by the way, they change quite often. <laughs> if they had one, you know, um... call it you know suggested retail price srp or whatever if they had just one that'd be one thing but it fluctuates it goes up and down so my i have the affiliate links on my videos one of them is for tonic studios the other one's for craft stash i always recommend check them both out see who has the lower price and go with that you know uh you may catch an impromptu sale that even i don't know about but um, let me share with you. Okay, so I believe, no, it was this one for this particular page. Um, and yes, uh, Tonic Studios on Wednesdays, uh, they have sales. I actually would recommend that um, you check on Tuesday afternoon, okay, because that's when they publish the sales for the next day, and you might get them even in a bundle. But this is called the Life You Love Keepsake uh, Insert Creator. That's the one used here. And some of you already know this, but I'm just showing the ones who got here today. This was done with um, Design... Mamma Mia. Uh, Designer's Choice, Die of the Month. So this is not available. Um, this one was another tonic dye, rather an expensive one. Uh, this one, Sunray Venus Layering Basic Dye Set. So if you like layering dyes, that was one that I just used there. The other memory book collection, which is quite popular. It's been out for two years, uh, both of these guys. They've already been out for two years, so you may recognize them, okay? So I also use that one. Memory Bookmaker Layering Cascade. Um... Oh, you're very welcome. And then here is the layout that I made using the It's here, it's here, it's here. I set them all aside so I could show you guys. Um, which one was it? I think it was Hmm. Okay, bear with me, guys. It is here. I know that it is because I set them all aside so I could show you guys. But it's from this collection here. Okay. Sorry, guys. I had to reconnect there. I don't know what happened, but I had to move my camera there. Hopefully, you guys can see me okay. No. There we go. All right. I think I'm back. I'm going to make sure that this is pointing the right direction and everything. Okay, let me know if you can see me. Oh, praise God, okay. So I was describing these. So the one that I use for this uh, page layout is Scalloped Embrace Base Creator, okay? Because it also comes with this one here and it says layering die set. This one only has those intricate layers. It doesn't have all of the pages or anything like that, okay? So that's the one for here. And this one was another one of these little ones. Which one is it here? Let me see. I know it's here. And it's right in front of my face. <laughs> I have bits and pieces of it all over the place, guys. Oh, I know it's here. I'm finding the dies, but not the packaging. I know it's here. It's got to be. Well, this one's coming up, so let me show you that. Um, 
Gosh, I just had it in my hand. I'm trying to remember what it looks like. Oh, this one right here. Hello. Okay. I was looking right at it, but that was this one. This is the memorable moments. Okay. Hello, Louisa. Oh, that's hilarious. Yep. And then um, this is the Perfect Locks die set. So that's the one that I used yesterday to show you guys how to do the little bow and the little binky that moves up and down on the page so that you can create these little interactive flaps. Um, so if you didn't see yesterday's video, you may want to catch up on that one to learn how to make that page that locks up like that and unlocks, of course. Um, which, of course, I still have to add more to it. This is not complete, but I think, you know, it's super duper cute with the little um, just moving elements, the interactive elements there. Okay. And then today we just made this one and you guys saw the die set that I used for that. Um, so back here, I can either repeat the same shape. I can definitely just add a different one all together. If I want to go with that, you know, a, a smaller version of it in, in any case, that would look totally cute. I want to cover this up here, however, and I don't have the same colors as I have in the front, but I don't think I'm going to mind that. I do have this adorable pink that would look super cute there. So let's go ahead and cut that out. And back here, I think what I want to do is just add the, um, the little kind of dedication letter, if you will. I think that's what I want to do. So I'm going to make um, a half page pocket here to be able to add that in. So I'm going to just take a look here at which one of these I want to use. I think, no, I want to go bigger than that. I think I want to use that one. Yep. So I'm going to cut this one out and I'll probably cut it out twice. Once in this and once in the white cardstock. Or where's that other one? Nope, there's this one too. Let me see if I can do this. I'm going to try to use that one in a smaller scale. So just to let you know, these books also end up being sometimes five or six pages in thickness, okay? So that gives you a good um, idea of how many layers you can have in one mini album before it's all said and done. So I'm going to cut this down. This is going to be my cutting point. I'm going to try to do a twofer. Thank you so much. All right, so I'm just going to lay this here to make life easier for myself and cut this out. And if you're curious about the machine, it is the Anna Griffin Empress. It just makes life easier for me. Um, but by all means, you can use a uh, the larger of the Spellbinders or um, what's that other one? Big Shot machine for these bigger dies. So this one does not cut out the edge, so I'm going to cut it myself. And that's because it's meant to create a page. So you see how it only cuts on three sides? They did that on purpose. 
So what I want to do here is use this image, but I'm going to have to use it as this. Here we go. Okay. So I'm going to line that one up, cut that out, and then I'll start assembling that back page. The Gemini I've never used. Um, it does work with the Spellbinder. I'm just uh, pointing out the size of the dies. Some of them are larger than the six inch wide opening. So I just wanna point that out so that you take a look at the dimensions of the die set. I didn't always have that larger machine. So I still got the dies and I, what I did was I just used the smaller ones to make smaller books. But this one has the 11 pieces with the largest being, they used to print the sizes, but let me take a quick look here. The largest page here measures eight inches tall by six and a half inches wide. So depending on the machine you have, you may not be able to get, you know, all of the sizes out of that. I just think, you know, as a consumer, you should be aware of that. That's all. But it doesn't mean that you can't make the books. You just, you know, you pick a smaller size. That's all. <laughs> what do the little fingers mean? <laughs> I need to know. Pointing up and pointing down. Okay, there's my other layer that I want to use. Okay. I'm gonna get my guillotine out so that I can cut these papers down. And you see it, it gets kind of, you know, crooked here and there, whatever, but so long as you cut it down to what you need, then you're fine. I just like my stuff to be sturdy, so that's why I'm trying to make sure that I have this doubled up, okay? Because I printed that designer paper onto 65 pound cardstock, and I want it to be nice and um, firm, I guess. I don't know. You guys know what I mean. So I'm just going to cut away here what I don't need. And as I said before, I purposely was going, going to uh, cut this in half to create a pocket. Okay, all that cutting, cutting, cutting. And what I want to do here is place my foundation. Okay, so let me explain the madness, okay? Because it might look like I'm just crazy, but I promise you I'm, I'm not entirely. <laughs> um, I don't want to create a pocket here and then have a bit of pink showing this bit here and then white. So for that reason, I'm going to make my foundation entirely one color and that's why I cut this out. All right. Um, I also um, could, if I wanted to at this point, add a ribbon here if I was going to do a ribbon closure. Obviously, I didn't do it on this front side, so that escaped me when I was making that front page. So guess what? I don't get to do that any longer, but that doesn't mean that it's not going to uh, be cute in the end. Um, yes, this is, um, it's a bigger one because this is the first album um, that I'm making for my new niece who was born not too long ago. So, you know... I had to incorporate everything that I possibly could in here because this is the first gift she's going to receive from her auntie, her titi, as we say. So I wanted to pour all my love into this. Okay, so I'm setting my little foundation here. Okay, make it nice and clean and pretty. 
Always recommend a baby wipe so you don't get glue in the wrong place and end up ruining your own books. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. She's all the way out in Wyoming, so I'm not gonna I'm not going to be able to travel out there to see her. So this is the next best best thing is to send a gift, you know. So here's this page. And then here's the other piece that I want to use. Okay, so first what I want to do is I can go ahead and glue this together. Okay. You will see what I'm where I'm going with it. Okay. So let's go ahead and glue that. And I just realized this is the same image I used in the uh, in that this prior page, but oh well, it's okay. I think they're so pretty. Okay, I hope you guys can see this okay. Um, all right, this is gonna go here, but before I put that down, first I'm going to cut away a tiny bit of that edge because it's a little tiny bit too big. And that is just a little, little hair. Okay. And then I am going to find a, you know, kind of a, a cute spot here. I think three inches uh, where that little scallop is. Hopefully you guys can see that. And I'm gonna cut it right there, okay? So now I'm going to glue the top part just flat right here. The monthly kit, yes, I, I have gotten the monthly kits. I do like them. You get a tremendous value for your dollar. Um, I don't get every single one of them because I try to... Um, watch the videos first or you know the the post where they share what the contents are going to be and if i find it to be something that i already have in my stash that's you know very very similar then i might skip it and go with something else because i also enjoy the uh, the designer's choice selections that they have every month um but yeah you get a lot for your money with uh with the kits and you get introduced to to items for instance from their nouveau range that you might not otherwise try okay so i put that there and now by the way that was a rubber eraser if you're not familiar with that it just helps you clean up your icky spots now this is going to be my pocket so i only need to adhere three sides of it and what i'm going to do is um give myself little hinges there so that this kind of pops out a tiny bit so as i had mentioned before you know waste not want not so i'm just gonna use this actually i'm going to use this thicker paper okay where's my glue tape Tape, 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 Here it is. <laughs> Had to sing my tape song. Um, yes, you can also skip um, a month. Say you sign up for the three months because you want to get the lower shipping price. And there's one particular kit you don't care for. You can skip that month. You can contact Tonic and they're really good. Uh, that's another reason I like them so much. Their customer service is top notch. So you won't get stuck with product you don't like. Okay, so I'm scoring my paper here. Okay. 
And I think you guys can see what I'm doing. No, you can't. Let me move this over. I'm just creating my little hinges as I had shown you guys before. I need three, so I'm going to do six of these strips. And that way I have my cool little pocket. And of course, there are dies out there that will do this, but guess what? You don't need um, a die for everything. If you have it, use it. But this is just a really easy way to go about it. Okay, so there's six strips. Um, so if you want links to Tonic Studios, uh, they are right on my link tree at the, on the description box of this video. Okay. They'll take you right to the page, Tonic Studios page, and you can go ahead and sign up for anything that you like or take advantage of this week's sales. And then once you get that kit on hand, if you sign up for the monthly kit, that TCK code is good for any future purchase and you'll get a discount. It just so happens that this week it's a 20% discount instead of just 10. Okay, I'm cutting away what I don't need. And the reason I'm doing it like this is so that I can just follow the very edge of that glue as I had shown you before. Make life easier on myself. And that way I don't have a bunch of bulk. Okay, there's that. Now I'm going to look at the back of my little pocket page element here. I'm going to measure out what I need. This you can just eyeball if you need to. I'm going to fold in half that little hinge that I created. And Go ahead and cut the corners at a 45 degree angle facing in, of course, because that's going to eliminate bulk and give you a nice clean edge there. Okay, I have to cut this one in half. I probably could have gotten away with only making two, but that's okay. It's good to have extras. Fold that in half. And this is going to be nice and sturdy because it is that 110 pound cardstock. Boom. And no, that's too short. Let's go this way with it. And yes, just to let you know, the every element that I added in this book, you can make with only one shape. Because as far as the um the elements in the book they varied of course because of the fact that i use different shape dies but if you don't have different shape dies and you have one shape you really like <clears throat> excuse me if you have one shape you really like then just use that i'm trying to make sure okay i put it as close to the edge here as i could However, I'm going, let me show you up close. I'm aiming lower here toward this edge than up here. And I'm doing that purposely, okay? Oopsie, took the tape off too soon. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing here. Aiming toward the bottom of my page. Okay, like that. And one more. I think I need to be over here more. 
please leave a thumbs up if there has been anything on this video that you have enjoyed at all because I do enjoy getting your feedback um, and of course it helps the YouTube analytics to let you know let YouTube know that these videos are worthwhile for crafters so I would appreciate that all right so I've got my three sides there I'm just gonna burnish that and now I'm gonna bring my book back here I'm gonna start with the bottom most portion I'm just gonna remove half of that I'm gonna refresh this to make sure there we go okay I'm gonna line it up and okay I'm hoping that you guys can see this because I know there's a lot of bulk there but I'm gonna line it up first with that top part just to make sure and I kind of have to hover over the page there just to make sure that it's very straight and then I'm going to apply pressure to to the bottom there making sure that that little piece is folded down the little hinge okay so I've got half of that stuck down and now I can remove the backing and stick the rest of it and I hope that that's straight it's a little bit hard for me to see it from this angle so I'm going to double check that you could also do it from this direction like that okay so you get to see what I did did there and now it's just a matter of removing the adhesive from the sides and doing the same thing making sure that you're aiming at that base so that you don't get too close to the hinge of the book if you do you're not going to be able to close that page okay those are the little details you'll learn on these videos all right and I think I for some reason my camera is in the wrong place here all right And with my other dies, I'll be able to make a little envelope to stick in here, add a little letter. Okay, there's that. And got to make it cute, right? So I had mentioned this trim and I haven't yet used it. So let's go ahead and put it right here on the edge gonna look so darling I think I might have enough of this one yes I do so I'm gonna add two so I'm gonna start off with this adorable little white lace just gonna add that on the edge I had used this on different pages and this is just what's left over I'm gonna aim right at that edge and that hot glue dries so quickly that it doesn't give me a chance. Okay, let's try that again. Let's go. All right, so I'm trying to just add a, the tiniest little bead there so that it's not too bulky or crazy. All right. You guys are having a good time. There's a lot of little happy, smiley faces on the chat. I don't even know what you guys are talking about, but... Um, I'll catch up later on that. I'm going to cut away the excess, whatever I don't need. I like a nice clean edge there. Uh, uh, there we go. And now I'm going to do my little pom-pom. And I'm going to do it this way. Because I was holding it upside down. I'm going to cut off what I need first, in this case. There we go. And do you guys have any questions for me regarding um, any of these different uh, techniques or colors or anything like that? I honestly don't know, you know, if there's anything you m might have a doubt about, but. I've 
kind of covered so many different things. There's that. Try to be patient. Try not to rush. It's not worth it. Okay, there's that. Now, if you get a little bit of glue dripping out there, you can just wait until it cools off and pull it right out, and it'll come off. That's where your fingernails come in handy. <laughs> but there's that. Okay, now I'm just going to cut off that little edge there because I don't want to wrap it around the outside. Thank you, Chiquita. God bless you and have a wonderful weekend. All right, there's that. And thank you for having been here and for sharing my video. I truly, truly appreciate that. Sorry, I'm trying to make sure that I can see your chat. Okay, I think I'm good. All right, so there's that. And to show you again, you know, you can fit quite a bit back there now, but it's simple, but effective, you know, and like I said, the little, any little glue strings or anything like that, I will be removing those, you know, I just pull on it and it comes right off. Um, but we made both of these. Now, another thing I wanted to point out, sometimes I like to start off by only uh, gluing part of an image or you know a piece of ephemera and I then go back and see how does it interact with its partner page as I call them and if I see that there's too much bending or folding or that sort of thing I go back and I add a little bit more glue and try to make sure that it lays flat so that way it doesn't start curling off the page okay because that can be pretty unsightly um, on here Let's see, what else did I want to cover? I could do the cover now. I'm kind of scared to do the cover and I don't know why. <laughs> I think it's because I want it to be perfect. So I don't know if I can do it on camera, guys. I'm going to be honest. I, I will show you, however, what I've cut out for that. So let me see here if I can show you guys. To get things out of the way out of the way out of the way whatever i'm done with move it move it move it because i use quite a bit of product here so i will show you what i cut out and where my mind was going with all of this this morning i did print out this little water can in a smaller size because I have it here, but if you see what my printer does to me, look at the difference, okay guys? Um, thank you so much, Jackie. This is where I have, uh, you know, discrepancies. It's the same ink cartridges, <laughs> same program. I don't know what's up with Epson. If anyone out there has connections to Epson, please <laughs> reach out to me because this is the color that I want. But I was looking at printing it smaller, but it's gonna it's looking right now like that's not even gonna happen. But this is what I wanted for my cover. Um, and I also have these layers. This was my favorite color uh, paper in this collection. Let me use this one actually. Oh no, they're both the same. Just need to cut it down a tiny little smidge here. like so okay so I was thinking oh a picture of myself haha <laughs> you know what I hadn't even thought of that but I guess I could that's a great idea to put that at the end I don't know I don't want to come off I don't want to come across as being narcissistic <laughs> but that's probably not a bad idea and that's just my sense of humor by the way Okay, don't think that I'm being too serious here. Um, that's not a bad idea. Thank you for bringing that up because I hadn't even thought of it. Maybe I'll put it in the little letter 
So that way, if she doesn't want it stuck on the book, it doesn't have to be, you know. But this is where I was going with this. However, it was a bit too monochromatic. So I printed out the wreath thinking that maybe I can incorporate that after I cut it out. So I was thinking that I have a few dies here that are circular that I can use. In fact, one of them, let me take a look at this one because one of them I've never even used before. So this is one of the designer's choice um, dies. Oh, you know what? Thank you for saying that. Um, yes, the watering can, you can definitely find a dye. I'm trying to think of who makes it because there is, um, there's a company that makes one. Okay, so I could cut this out. Yep, see, this is where I was thinking this would look kind of cool. Um, and let me see. Nope, that's too big because it's really neat to use your different shapes in unexpected ways, you know? All right, so that one's, uh, you know, it's a bit too small, so let's go with a bigger one. There we go, okay. So there's that option there, so let's start there. I might be able to get this cover done after all. Okay, I'm first going to apply my washi so that I don't ruin my own image here. And you're going to see how this cuts out. I'm also hoping that the size is not too big, but I think it's going to work. But thank you for mentioning that. You know why? I barely have any pictures of myself from my childhood. All of those moves in the military um, meant that all of my baby pictures got um, lost in one of the moves. So, of course, for the longest time, I thought I was adopted. Because <laughs> that made sense. <laughs> um Yes, absolutely. The flowers are going to be a uh, part of that. This is just um, the bare bones. That's generally what I show in my tutorials. And then I go back and I add all the frou-frou stuff when I'm crafting on my own. But by all means, I cut out a bunch of little flowers. And I uh, cut out flowers with my... Um, I think they were Sizzix dies. Okay. So let's do that. But anyway, I bring up the whole picture thing to say that, yeah, it would be great to um, to be able to have pictures of um, different childhood friends and that sort of thing, you know? Or family, of course. Um, Okay, so let me show you what I did here, because I think these dies are so cool. All right. This is one option for not fussy cutting, <laughs> is to use the shape dies. Why not, right? Okay. So I just gave myself this edge here instead. So do you see that? Um... And I have a delay on my phone, so if I'm holding this for a while, it's not because I'm trying to slow down, but I'm trying to see where, which direction. Here we go. I think you can see it better here. But if you see the edge on that, that's what that die does. So I can add this back here, whether it be um, cut in half, peeking out of the sides or however, right? Yep, I think I'm going to like that. So I'm just planning out my page at this stage. I could just do that, that, this. I'm trying to see if I want to bother with the pink back there or not. Because I like it, but I want it to make sense. And... 
I might like it more if it's not that shape. So let me see here. I might like a different color. Let me see. Because there's this color in this book. We'll take a look here and see if this works out better. It's good to have options, you know? But yeah, there's definitely going to be lace and there's going to be bling. If you've seen any other video of mine, you know. <laughs> That's just a given. I love to bling it all out. Um, but this is a beginning here. It's a start. And I am partial to blue and green, so I don't mind incorporating that into a baby album, okay? Because the... Um, the delicate features of the papers can come from everything else that you add to it. Um, let me double this up, guys. I keep forgetting I use lightweight um, paper for that. But I want to double it up. Mm, okay. Yeah, this is just, like I said before, this is just a little foundation piece. I, it doesn't mean I'm going to glue it just like that. <laughs> so it's just to add that element of a wreath because I'm going to be topping this off with flowers. Um, okay, so I'm going to add this here like so to bring that pink back in. So let me layer that. And I'm only going to apply glue there in the center so that if I, I need to tuck things in there, I can. Okay. Let's set this aside for a moment. I have to flip this upside down for a second. I'm only going to apply glue to the center of these so that if I have to tuck anything in, Later on, I can do that. Now, if I really wanted to shabby this up, I would take gesso and just go crazy with this, but I'm keeping it quite, you know, delicate. But again, only applying glue in the center there. And there's no right or wrong way to do this. Okay. All right, there's that base, which if I left it like that, that'd be pretty enough. Um, oh, no, no worries, sweetie. I just wanted to give you an idea of where I'm going with it. Um, because I'm going to cut this in half. And put part of it like so, okay, and I've got a picture of that watering can. It's not going to be completely centered. And I think, let me see, I'm trying to see how I can incorporate this so that it's not, um, let's see, maybe like so, so that it's not entirely a circle but it might be too small. I have to be mindful of all of those little stippling points there too. I have to look at this from this angle. Mm, nope. I'm liking it better if it's down here. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, it might have to be a circle after all. Yeah. I'm trying to picture this with a bunch of layers on top too. So, because I have ribbon, 
that might cover some of this also. And so here's where it gets a little bit tricky because I might have to put this on first. And I forgot about this piece. <laughs> Got my circles. See, if I put the wreath on top, sorry guys, I'm having to look at this all over again. Because if I put the wreath on top like so, the rectangle gets lost unless I use that a little bit higher. And I'm trying to create balance here. So this is, I knew that this was going to be the most difficult part of creating this book. Um, because it's almost like now that rectangle doesn't work. Hmm. Okay, so let me pop, pop some little flowers here so you see where I'm going with this, okay? Just a ballpark idea here. It doesn't mean that this is exactly how I'm going to place them, but gives you a general idea of what I want to do in this book, okay? And you guys can tell me, I do take feedback, I do appreciate it, believe it or not. <laughs> I might be stubborn, but I, t I take the feedback. But this is what I was thinking of, okay? Um, just like that, and of course, little butterflies here and there, you know, the whole bit. But just to break up that background by adding a little bit of, to me, that looks like a doily almost. So what do you guys think of that? Opinions appreciated. <laughs> and yes, I have a ton of little butterflies that I can add to this. I mean, I've got the little girl that I can pop up over here. Um, there's a lot still that I can do with that. So Rocky says it's pretty, and of course, you know, you're only seeing the, the, uh, the initial part of that. As I said before, it's going to have the laces and all that good stuff. In fact, maybe I should be sandwiching some lace in between some of those elements too. <clears throat> I have some applique, but I don't want to make it too fancy. Um, let's see here. Because, sorry for my, my little absence there. Oh, thank you, hon. I have some other trims here that can break this up so that way it's not so serious. You know what I'm saying? And shabby it up a little more. Oh, I like this one. I don't remember if this is from... Yeah, I think I'm going to go with that one. It's super delicate. It's going to break up all of that harshness of paper. right and i almost forgot i've got my little um butterflies like this too so yeah let's let's make this a bit more shabby that's all it needed i also still have some more of this trim so let's let's girlify this up <laughs> make it girly right Okay, where to begin? Let's start with, I think a little bit of this because I did use that on the inside of this album. I just didn't use that particular color, but that's okay. I can also use, so let's put this one down first. All right, take a picture, <laughs> take a mental picture of that. 
Um, okay, let's start with this one. This is almost like a wedding lace. It's so adorable. I'm going to start with that. Make it nice and soft and pretty. And I do have to tilt my book, guys. I otherwise will not be able to do this. But let's start with that. Put that right on the edge there. Like so. And I know this has gotten to be a much longer video than I anticipated, but if you're in the zone, you're in the zone, right? A uh, little more glue than I want, but it's going to be layered, so hopefully I can hide some of that. Okay. Wrong scissors. <laughs> uh, my paper scissors and my uh, fabric ones look exactly alike. Okay, there's that. I mentioned this one next. I think it goes like this. Yep. Thank you ladies for the thumbs up and the encouragement. It means so much to me. It really does. Because you know I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> After all this hard work. Don't want to ruin it. Alright, there's that one. I'm trying to be nice and clean, you know. Because hot glue can go... It can go wrong very easily. Um... All right, I'm gonna cut away diagonally down here to keep it with that look of a scallop. Um, I can do, can kind of do this frou-frou one. I don't know guys, I'm not really girly girly to be com completely honest, so I don't know how I feel about that. It reminds me of my big fat Greek wedding. <laughs> Have you guys seen that? There's something about it, but it's not going to be for me. So I have to remind myself of that. The book is not for me. So I think I just have to bite the bullet. But I'm also considering putting chipboard on that spine. So I think I'm going to maybe add that at the end. I'm going to do the spine off camera, guys, because there's just not going to be any way I can do that. <laughs> but you get, you get where I'm going. <laughs> You get what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't want her to be like, oh, is it a bunt? <laughs> is it a bunt book? What is it? Oh my gosh. All right. I'm just going to start gluing here. And hopefully I don't have to move anything around. But there's this piece. like that this piece that I can relate so much to that movie that that's why it still comes to mind <laughs> there is way too much about it that is so real in my life I'm like whoa were they filming my you know did they have a hidden camera or something? <laughs> All right, let's add some height here. So I'm going to go ahead and put some hot glue. Just pile it on there. And that's to give myself dimension without using dimensional tape. Okay, because I just have to wait a second for it to dry. And it'll give it that sturdiness also. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever been in a room with austere people? And I'm not speaking of anyone that I'm related to currently, so. <laughs> Praise God for that. But, yeah, that whole look across the table. <laughs> oh, my gosh. When she pulls out that album and there's all that lace all over the place. Oh, I'm dying. <laughs> oh my goodness okay so I think this is gonna go down here that I was um I'm re referring to sorry referring to my big fat Greek wedding if you've not seen that oh my gosh it's um it's not the most reverent movie 
but on a scale of one to ten I don't think it's you know horrific either you know um, they're um, it just it's a, a wonderful example of you know cultural differences in a couple and the families um, and how they react to one another. Oh my gosh, it, it's uh, hands down. I think it's one of the funniest movies I've ever seen only because I can relate to so much of it. I've been there. Because she's Greek and Greeks are like Spanish people too, where, you know, they go all out. Everything's big. <laughs> um, yes. <laughs> And the mom can't pronounce bun cake. <laughs> so I can totally relate to that. She's like, bun <laughs> trying to say bun cake. Oh gosh. I always think, you know what? If they ever made it uh, possible to see the outtakes of that movie, I would pay to see that. <laughs> I would be first in line. Oh gosh. Because just thinking of it makes me tear up. I laugh so much. Um, Okay, I wanted to add the lace on this side as well, just to break up all that green, that icky green. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and do it on this side. I think it's the first time I've ever done something like that. Maybe I should have done the cream one first and then the white, I don't know. To kind of soften that. Should I rip this apart and do it over? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Should I rip it off and start over and do the white on top? It's too late. Ugh, why did I do that? Oh well. Let me see. I can do the white. I really like this delicate white lace. And now I'm wishing I hadn't put this one on here. So let's see. Rip it off, baby girl. Rip it off. I'm thinking I want the white on top because you can't see it. Okay, so here's one benefit of hot glue, guys. This is a shabby book, so I'm not concerned whatsoever about what I just did. Um, I just don't want... It's kind of a catch-22 because I don't want that hot glue showing. But I also don't want that... Um, I don't want to lose the delicate nature of this um, white lace. I really, really, really like it. Um... And I've been here five hours, I think. <laughs> but I'm gonna make it work. I will, I will, I will. I like that one better. But this is where I need Carolyn's help because Carolyn's all super ultra shabby. And I'm not. I'm just a, you know, shy when it comes to doing shabby chic. So let's do the cream one first and then the white. I think that's what I need to do. <clears throat> you gotta live dangerously sweetheart have no fear because gesso is always near <laughs> that's how I fix all of my mistakes just add gesso don't worry about it um, it goes great with burnt fingertips don't worry you know all right so I did the cream one first I don't know if that's what I did the last time, but I don't think it is. I don't know. Kind of losing it, guys. I need to eat. <laughs> All right, I'm doing the cream, and then I'll do the white on top. Because it does need the, um, the texture. It just doesn't need the color necessarily, and I hope that makes sense. But let's cut away. Cut away. I'm not going to worry too much about those edges right now. Um, okay. Because I'm going to, yeah, this is what I want. Even if you can't see the little flowers, I'm going to put the white on top. Call me crazy, but that's what I like. And I might even have to go in with a third little trim just to cover that little bit of the edge there. But we'll see. We'll see how that works. Okay. 
Okay. All right. Now I'm going to do one more piece, and that's the piece over here. And I think that can overlap that little watering can even. I'm just going to do half of that first. Place it. Then the other half. Okay. Up, 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 up. All right, let's do that. And let's see here. Okay, this is what we have so far. I am going to zhuzh it up with the little flowers and the butterflies. Let's get all this stuff out. Because this is what's going to make it fun. Grab all the little fussy cutting things that I grabbed. I really like this image, but it's not going to work. Um, let's see here. I think I got... And let's take a look at these flowers. Some of these I created on my own, um, as I mentioned before, and then others are from the paper collection. Where are you guys? Here we go. So there's a rose. Okay. I'm looking here. I'm trying to use all of the colors here, guys. Okay. Um, the little butterflies. I'm trying to make sure that I have depth of color as well. This is the fun part for me, of course, you know. And you said, shoot, no, what did I do? <laughs> what happened? I'm going to add this one here, I think, with these on the side. That might be too bright. Um, where am I? Okay. Like that. I can pop one on top of a flower. Okay, I think I'm going to start gluing. Okay. <laughs> Live dangerously, yeah. That's part of paper crafting, though, you know? You kind of have to lose the fear of um, certain things. I don't think the little chicky poo is going to go there. I think I'm just going to stick with these little elements. Um, and it's hard to do at first, of course, because it's not in our nature necessarily to, you know, not everyone's a risk taker. But... I can tell you it's a lot of fun. Okay, I'm going to get this out because I'm going to roll these edges to give myself some more height on these flowers. Okay, and if you've never made flowers before, it's just a matter of pushing the paper in opposite directions. That's all you're doing. The center, you can push down. The the uh, sides you push from the back um, of the paper, okay? I've already done that on some of these, by the way. But if you've never made a flower, it need not be complicated either, okay? But it gives it that little extra bit of shape there to manipulate the papers, okay? There's that. I'm just going to press it lightly there. I'm going to build this one, which I've already shaped. Oops, flipped over on me, but uh, I think I want to twirl it around a little bit. Let's see how that works. 
And at the end, off camera, I can do all of the little pearls, the gems, the shine, all that good stuff, okay? Hmm, I might need to move this. Yep, she ripped it. It's hard to work upside down, but, oopsie. I want to make sure that I tuck these in properly. Here we go. I think I'm going to put that one there. I'm just going to place the glue there first. And then this one. And I'm also going to, going to be fussy cutting off camera the little leaves that I'll add to this because I do think that that's a really great element to add to the flowers. Oh really? You know that takes that takes a lot of courage also just to chuck them and start over again. Oh my gosh, I can tell you I have quite a few. Um, I think that can go right there. I'm trying to create balance here but taking into account any of the uh, little seams or anything like that. I'm working from the bottom up as you can tell. Adding all of these cute little elements like that. So now it, make, it might start making more sense as to why I laid this out as I did. Okay, I'm going to repeat the shaping here. Yes, that's, that's wishful thinking, isn't it? Yeah. You know, I think it was maybe a year ago or two that I started, you know, doing the same thing with, with some items, not, not all, but just saying, you know what, as we call them, those PhDs that have, that, that project half done, let it go, girlfriend, just move on. Um, sometimes you have to do that just to practice forgiveness of yourself for the things that you didn't get quite right. <laughs> it's true in life and it's true in crafting. You just have to forgive yourself and move on. Okay, so there's this. But I hope you can tell how different it looks when you do add that bit of shaping. I think it's so well worth it. And I've been here two hours. I was only supposed to do a one hour video. And maybe it's been a, more like an hour and a half, but I'm not going to be able to do the spine live today because I do have to go rest my back. Okay, pushing that in the center there. Woohoo! Got my, and I will clean up all the little cobwebs and all that good stuff too. Okay. So there's that. I don't, yeah, I haven't glued that one yet. I'm going to cover that unsightly seam that I created for myself by cutting that in half. Um, <laughs> yeah. That's okay. You know, because part of all of this is the learning process. You have to give yourself grace to learn all of the different techniques that um, that get you to the place where you are then, you know, you can look at your work and say, you know, that's what I want it to look like. You know, now I'm satisfied. Um, I mentioned before the different crafts that my mom used to do and things like that and how that really helped shape, for instance, how... I learn about different types of um, art and, you know, and that sort of thing. Now, if you think about that, that started when I was about four years old. So it's been over 40 years. <laughs> um, and if you take that into account, then you can say, okay, yeah, that's a, um, a lifetime worth of applying different techniques. 
So how could I possibly think that what I crafted when I was in my 20s is going to look anything like what I make now? That's uh, completely un um, unreasonable, you know? Okay, so I'm going to place this one here like that. Now I did these colors of papers because I wanted to pull out the pinks that were in that gorgeous background paper there. That was my favorite as I mentioned before. Just going to cut away a tiny piece of this like that and this because it kind of ended on an off note there. Same with that. Okay. I think that, oops, got one more butterfly here. I also have, however, let me take a peek here. I have some butterflies from Renee Bouquets that are made with a beautiful board that I might be tucking here and there because I think they're so adorable. So that's going to give it another element, but let me see if I want to layer it behind the paper. Yeah, why not? I'm going to layer it right there. Yep, that's what I want to do. So this is going to make it nice and sturdy also. I put that one there and then I'm just going to pop the paper one right on top. Just to give it some height, some dimension. And I have this this bit here I think that I might end up applying to the spine because it's just big enough that it's going to fit there but because I'm going to reinforce that I'm going to do that off camera but you'll see where this is going and I can keep going with the butterflies I mean why not just have fun with it I might add another one down here Tons of them. Yes, Renee is an absolute doll of a human being. And her talents speak for themselves. You know, it's kind of like her her business card need not be handed out. You just, just look at her work. <laughs> you know, I loved being part of her design team. I really, I would still be part of it if I had... Um, if I had the ability to make projects every month, I just don't have the capacity to do that right now. So needless to say, I miss that, but she's a wonderful, wonderful person for sure. I admire her greatly. So I'm going to place this one here just like that. All right. And... I have another, let's see, I have this one that I had added glitter to. I don't know if I want to cover that one up with that. I don't think I do. I think I'm going to leave that there. And, gracias. Acabo de mencionar que de todas las inspiraciones de mi vida, tú eres la mayor. Oh, really? Wow, Rocky, I didn't know that. That's so cool. Wow, wow, wow. That's phenomenal. And I'm going to look at that in a whole new light. So, guys, those of you, I see there's five people here. So four of you are my friends. And the fifth one is my mother. Her name is Carmen, and she's in the chat now. So this is going to be for my niece, para la sobrinita. <laughs> No he terminado, falta mucho todavía, pero ahí está la portada. So yeah, and I was just mentioning to you guys how I learned most of what I know to do from my mother. So there she is in the chat saying hello. So say hi to my mommy, send her a kiss. <laughs> um, yeah, so this has been a phenomenal book to put together. So much fun. I've loved every minute of it. Um, I would stay here all day chatting and going over all of these things with you guys. But as you know, for health reasons, I can't. 
I'm so sad to have to say that I have to end it here, but I will come back and reveal the entire book showing you guys um, all of the, um, you know, the little details at the end, of course. And by then, the spine will be complete. Now, just to let you know, if you create a book like this and you follow this tutorial verbatim as I made it, at the end, make sure you cut out a piece of chipboard that fits your spine and cover it with paper before you adhere it. It's going to give you some nice um, stability there. Another option will be that you can take a piece of fabric if you want to and cover the, the entire spine by adhering it to the front and back. I mean, you have a lot of options, but I highly recommend that you finish this off with a piece of chipboard. It's going to give this that nice stability, okay? Gracias. Gracias, Jackie. All right, so I'm going to uh, say adieu, goodbye. Um, God bless you guys. Be inspired and be blessed. And thank you so much for watching and for being here with me today. It's been tons of fun. Thank you, thank you. Ciao, ciao.